Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Leon Keng Tai, who is a Deputy Chief Executive for International and Corporate for Inco Infocom Media Development Authority uh, in Singapore. Uh, Mr. Leon Keng Tai, thank you yes, very much indeed for being with us. Yes. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about smart digital development. It's uh, the theme here of ITU Telecom World. What does it mean to you? Well, first, what I think digital development is not about technology. I think that's very important. I think digital development is about transformation. Basically, how a country or an economy uh, can use technology to transform eco its economic activity so that it can remain relevant and competitive, and also how it can transform its citizens so that they live better lives. And I think uh, as a government, this should really be the focus at the end of the day when we talk about uh, digital development. So what's the most important or basic infrastructure uh, for building a smart nation and what are Singapore's plans for the future? I think the infrastructure is a building block, so uh, it's definitely a, a critical uh, element. So when I talk about infrastructure development, uh, you know, we are here in the uh, telecom world, so we talk about, you know, 5G, we talk about fiber to the home. All these, I think, are, are, are essential. But I think going forward for a digital economy, uh, this infra hard infrastructure is uh, critical, but I think insufficient. Because when we go into the, you know, a digital economy, we ought to talk about things like data flow, things like privacy, data protection, things like cyber security. So I think to bring that to the level of a digital economy, we got to start to think about policies, uh, incentives, uh, innovation beyond the hard uh, infrastructure. And I think this is something that's very important uh, for all of us to start to think about. Definitely, I mean, connectivity is critical, but it's not easy to roll out over full mobile or fixed broadband networks. Did Singapore encounter any difficulties uh, doing this? And if so, how did you overcome them? Well, I think one of the key uh, challenges when we rolled out our fiber to the home, uh, in Singapore, by the way, we, we, we practically have fiber to, the home, to every home in Singapore, um, but it wasn't uh, you know, a straightforward task. Uh, the greatest challenge was to uh, do a in, uh, a industry restructuring, basically. Uh, previously, um, the industry was very vertical, right? Every telco has its own fiber, has its own uh, infrastructure. But in order to make sense economically to do fiber to every household, uh, we wanted to restructure the industry to make sure that um, the people who are going to provide the most expensive part of the infrastructure, basically the, the dark fibre, uh, is going to be uh, open access to everyone. And therefore, the company that provides this cannot be vertically integrated. So that industry restructuring uh, took a bit of uh, it's a challenge. We have to uh, get people to do the right things over time. So, but uh, fortunately, I think we, we have uh, overcome that, and today we are all enjoying a very high-speed fiber to the home. That's brilliant. And what about the 5G deployment plan? What are Singapore's plans for this, and uh, and how do you hope to make this a reality? And, and will it turn you into a, a smarter nation? Well, I, I, I mean, that's the vision to, for Singapore to be a smart nation. So we are, we we have come quite a, quite some way. In terms of 5G, uh, in fact, we have. Uh, encourage operators to start trials in 5G because obviously there are there probably uh, unforeseen technical challenges as well as uh, use cases, you've got to test out the use cases. So what we've done is to, to allow operators to do pilots and trials uh, during this period before commercial launch and then to uh, provide them the incentive to do so, we have uh, made the spectrum free of charge during this, this period so that they can try things out. So we are about to launch our first pilot network uh, fourth quarter of this year. So I think uh, things are quite on track. Now you're also a member of the Broadband Commission. Yes. What, so tell us a little bit about the work of, of that commission and uh, why is that important? I think the Broadband Commission uh, is a very good collection of uh, very senior uh, people, uh, very influential people, not only from government, but very importantly from the industry. And when I say industry, it's not just the telco, but also uh, in a way, you know, the likes of Microsoft, the likes of uh, uh, IBM, etc. So I think it's a good collection of uh, industry captains and government officials. So we get together uh, twice a year, uh, basically to uh, discuss and share what we can all do together to chip in to sort of uh, 
meet some of the SDGs, the, the development goals of the, the United Nations, focusing on the use of ICT. So um, we have, in the beginning, we have done things like, for example, to make sure every country has a national broadband plan. Uh, today, we are looking at things like uh, cybersecurity. Uh, so I think we have also moved along just uh, from basic uh, infrastructure. And what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Again, I think, you know, many of us, uh, we, we are very much caught up in our own domestic uh, work or regional work. So I think an, an event like this gives us the opportunity to come together and sort of hear and learn from what, are, what other countries beyond our domestic or beyond our region, what are they doing to tackle uh, issues like digital divide, issues like uh, infrastructure rollout. And I think it's a, it's a good uh, opportunity to find out best practices that we may not have thought of it ourselves. So I think uh, platforms like this are extremely useful. Well, thanks for sharing your best practices with us and wish you the very best of, of luck uh, with your future rollout plans and, you. uh, and, and your attendance here, I hope, will be fruitful and, and valuable. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.